There you go. Hello and welcome back to Belfair Manor Tales. Last time we uh, last we left off, you were all eavesdropping on Father David McDougall having a date with quote unquote Miguel, whose name is not actually Miguel, which was the last thing he said. Yeah. So we, we pick up uh, right from there with Miguel looking at Father David over his wine glass with a little bit of a smile on his handsome yet rugged face. <laughs> he says his name isn't actually Miguel. Father David sits there for a moment and looks down at his wine, looks back at Miguel. Kind of figured a little bit, but I'm very happy that you're finally correcting us. <laughs> what really is your name? My name is Andante. Uh, and, uh, and I am sorry to have kept you in the dark for so long, Father David. It just so happens that when you have worked in a profession such as mine for so long, people stop listening to you. You find out. You better just speak your own language. It's all the same to them. They do not hear. <laughs> he wants to, like, you know, fuck it. I'm gonna say Father David, like, sighs and he kind of, like, scooches over. <laughs> the sea. <laughs> Grabs his plate, sits closer. Grabs his plate, sits closer, because this, it's just, it's too far to reach. <laughs> He has used up his one action for this turn. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible to hear about Andante. It is no skin off of my back. By now I've gotten used to it. Not to mention, I'm quite... I'm rather happy that everyone in this house sticks to one name. Don't get me started with the shadows. Ramon is relatively good with it. Mostly just kiss me. Uh, calls me Miguel. His parents never bothered learning anything at all. So they would just call me the name of the week. That's terrible and dehumanizing. Yeah, and Dante rocks. Is what we go through for the sake of feeding our families, yes? I suppose you're right. Do you have a family, Andante? I do. I have a wife and two children at home. It is why I took this job. Mr. Shafter is an airheaded idiot, but he pays well. Wow. Right there. Mm. <laughs> well, that's your own fault. You're not supposed that's to be your own damn fault. I'm gonna go in and grab my wine. <laughs> Taking my wine back and going home. And all things considered, he is not the worst employer I've had. He seems to sometimes even care a bit, a little bit about me as a person. I appreciate that. And Dante says with a small smirk that tells. Father David, that he's, 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 he cares more for Raymond than he lets on. It's all banter. It's as much as you can care about a police, I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> They're not really human, you know. They just <laughs> pretend to be. <laughs> well, can't argue with that, I suppose, but then again, I've never, uh... Met the rest of Mr. Shafter's family. I've always you... given what you've said, that's quite a good thing. Pray you never do, baby. You will never hear the end of the belittling. But here's to being in a country where they are not, he says as he lifts his glass to Father David with just the most charming little grin. David lifts his own glass. And goddammit, he's just happy to finally know his fucking name 
<laughs> he lifts his glass, they do a little tink. Here's to hopefully finding some good friends. I like to believe I already have Father Radit. He smiles, and he takes a sip of that old ass wine. That better and be so does Andante. That better be good wine. You are struck with just how fucking good that wine is. It's like ridiculous. A small hooting from Father David as he tastes the wine. <laughs> <laughs> and Adante's eyes widen. He looks around a little bit. Oh, as I expected. Raymond has good tastes. And that'll make up for it. That'll make up for it. <laughs> <laughs> he does kind of give off a little bit of a wine dad vibe without really being a father. Wait, he's not a father, is he? Oh, no, he is not. Oh. Trust me, I wouldn't know if someone were to come uh, knocking at his door of demanding child, uh, demand, uh, demanding child support. I don't, I don't think Raymond's sexuality ever came up in any form. It didn't. It's not even in his backstory. It is. The, the shafters just kind of reproduce via like mitosis. Yep. Oh, they just marry into other families, and you know, to keep the not the bloodline clean, but like the money. Yep. Okay, I, like I imagine they money. just butt off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, just, you, know, you just get a kid from the nearest orphanage that looks like it could grow up rich. <laughs> like that kid. Like, like just it like... could grow up rich. Yeah. Like, no, like Monty Burns. It's just millionaire coming across, just buying a kid. Yeah, I'm going to take that. Yeah. Can you give that one, please? Can you give Rabbit? Thanks. Thank you. It's for my wife. She's been you just dreadfully rabbit. bothering me about children lately. <laughs> How else do you think rich people procreate? Exactly. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Through a hole cut in a sheet that is situated between, like, the two parties on the bed. First of all, they wouldn't cut the sheet themselves. They have people to cut the sheet. They have them. people for that. And if yeah. you, you know you've got a really good sheet cutter if they do, like, the funny little shapes and stuff. <laughs> Although you do have to, you do have to choose which one of the smiley faces' eyes you want to go through. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, which is always, like, the hard part. God damn it. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Back to the anyway. wine drinking. This is very good. Uh, do you remember what it was called again? It's an, uh... What was it again, Stinky? <laughs> Chateau Lafitte Rothschild from the mid-70s. Is a Chateau Lafitte Rothschild from the mid seventies. How Anatomy. much was this? Hmm? Too much for me to want to bother remembering it. However, it is Mister Shafter who pays, so why should I remember? About seventeen hundred bucks for a bottle. <laughs> Fair enough, I suppose. I'm going to not think about how much this cost. It just takes another sip. <laughs> Me neither. This isn't even the most expensive wine I found. It's just the most realistic wine. <laughs> what do you mean by realistic? Well, uh, paying seventeen hundred for a bottle of wine, if you're rich, is okay, right? However, then you go into like the, would you pay fifty thousand uh, euros for a bottle of wine? Would that still be in your normal budget? Probably not. Nope. And that wine wouldn't be good. I mean, it's a, it's a Dom Perignon Rosé from 2000, so probably not. At some point, the wine's just... They're, they're not worth it. Yeah, I I doubt they ever would be. That's an upper if, ceiling. If you want old wine, all you gotta do is get that Welch's grapes juice and just hide it in a cupboard <laughs> and forget about it. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah. but yeah. For, com for comparison, um, uh, Screaming Eagle, a uh, Screaming Eagle Cabernet from nineteen ninety two, half a million per bottle. Uh, no, like that's um, yeah. That's I'm gonna place. fucking transform you into an eagle, Jesus! Whole other ballpark. <laughs> Christ. Yeah, 
Sorry. Oh, also, I'm sorry. He actually has three children. <laughs> Not two. So David is going I'm to sorry. ask him about his family. I'm sorry. I just... I found one. 1907. A bottle of wine for almost $300,000. It's from a shipwreck. Mm -hmm. It was found in 1998. The bottle's still intact. And people just sold them and drank them. That cannot be good. So anyway, Father David wanted to ask uh, Andante about his family. Oh, yeah. You have a family, you say? I do. Like I said, it's why I take this job. It pays very well. I can support my wife, Gabriella. My two sons, Matias and Andre. And my daughter, Maya. It is uh, what I mostly spend my time uh, doing. It is uh, sitting in that room and being on camera with them. You know, I thought I heard you talking when I was about to knock on the door one day, but I figured I wouldn't ask. I appreciate it. And uh, all the other lengths that you went to, Papa Didi. It is not many who attempt to learn how to speak my language just to speak to me. Like a very nice man, and I realize it's a language I don't have under my belt. It'd be shame to have a barrier between us, I think. I'd be happy to give you some lessons if you're still interested. Oh yes, I, I would love that. And down the line, maybe it'll help me talk to some other people who only know Spanish. It is always a good language to know, especially if you were to come to the States. I've been thinking about it a little bit, but given as I've only just arrived here, I'll probably try to give it a few years. Well, if you ever do, you will find a home at my home. You're too kind, Andante. The Martinez Alvera household will always be open for you, my friend. He smiles again at Andante. Also, it's nice to finally know more about him. Also, I am sorry about that idiot. Sorry? Well, I never meant to break your heart. <laughs> Our love no. cannot be! <laughs> no! <laughs> it can be! It can be easily! It can be really easily! Come on! <laughs> Live a oh, uh, you didn't break my heart. It's fine, Andante. It was already broken. It was already broken. Andante gives a small, sympathetic smile, raises his glass to Father David again. Well, broken or unbroken, I hope it will be. As mended as it can be. And I want you to know that I value your friendship more than I have valued many things the last couple of years. Which is why I must ask you, Father David, why the hell do you choose to stay in this so very obviously haunted mansion? So you know about that. I am not stupid, Father David. I didn't think you were. But I uh, just don't know. Uh, yeah. uh, have you I seen have... anything? I have heard the singing in the pipes. I have felt the little invisible cat around my legs. And I have also seen the tall man. Oh no. All right, uh, well, he puts the glass down, kind of rubs his <coughs> temples for a moment. All right, so... 
I guess, if we're going to be fully honest now. It is very haunted. It's uh, extremely haunted. It's almost mind-bogglingly haunted in this manner. But... I don't know. I'm... I'm hoping there's some small way I can... I can help. If at all possible. These are lost souls trapped in the hole which they died in. And you're trying to help them move up. Just like, just like a good priest. I'm giving it my best shot, I suppose. If kind of the reason why. Mm -hmm. If you ever need assistance, I will be happy to help you. Although I'm not sitting foot in this place after that. Are you kidding me? No, oh, I understand that. That's perfectly reasonable. Uh, you were actually sent outside on that list run uh, because there was a ghost game going on. And we didn't want to risk you getting involved. A ghost game? Uh, yes, there's the spirit of a little girl that roams the halls. And she's... She's very keen on games and stories, as a... Uh, Many children are. Turns out she brought along the tall man as a friend of hers to join the game. You should have seen the look on Mr. Shafter's face. Hey! <laughs> the, the tall man gave him a right, uh, right spook in the shower. <laughs> Isn't smart to tell him that we're all in potentially mortal danger? He might be worried. Uh, no, you know, he's seen the tall man. Did he? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay then. Well, I wouldn't have given to be a fly on that wall. Uh, I do hope Mr. Shafter isn't too rattled, though. He drank, uh, I think, two? Maybe three bottles of wine afterwards. I didn't, I didn't drink three bottles of wine. <laughs> <laughs> he was he was uh, drinking rather hard. Either way, I'm surprised he's still standing. But we did make sure to check in on him. Hmm. Remind me to stock up on some wine for him. <laughs> I'll. Uh... I'm sure I have a posted a note around here somewhere. I'll put it on my grocery list for the next time I go into the city. <laughs> we just go it's to, a good plan. We just go to the wine shop and point at some stored shelf and say, that one. <laughs> I want that one. I want to taste it. Uh, that one. I have anyway. a question, actually. Yeah? Does uh, Andante have any siblings? You don't know. I should ask him. I want to know if they're also named after musical tempo. <laughs> Andante, Andante. You know, Andante, Moderato, <laughs> Allegro, here's my brother Vivace. <laughs> How hard it kills Father David because Father David's a fucking ABBA fan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's got one brother. His name is Fernando. <laughs> 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 Got a sister, her name is Cassandra, you know. Well, what can I say? My interesting ma family. My mother was a fan of Abba. I've already told you this. Ooh, you know, I'm certain I got a, yes, like an Abba album up in that record player that uh, Mr. Shafter gave me as an apology for insulting my faith. He does tend to throw money at the at uh, the problems he cannot make go away. He was always. But I hope he was always a little bit of a socially awkward kid. Hope he doesn't think me a problem that needs money thrown at it to go away. Oh no, he does not want you to go away. <laughs> he wants to be on good terms with you. He's just not good at saying so. This is much more sinister if you think about it. 
Yeah. Like, I could I could definitely pay enough money to make you go away, no questions asked. <laughs> Thank you two hundred dollars to fuck off. <laughs> Here's a tenner. All right. Get the fuck out. <laughs> pour another cup of tea. Oh man. Private David's gonna need a good cry later. It's gonna be fine. He'll be yeah. fine. He'll be fine. <laughs> we could go and we can get into a cash fight. No. But then no. it's rich too. We just throw money at each other. <laughs> right, money fight. <laughs> I don't tend to throw money. Handing money seems to be a better response. Because then they don't have to stoop down to pick it up. It's a little demeaning. I don't think Raymond Shafter knows the meaning of that word. Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry, my oldest is 12. I have had many years of practice with dad jokes. That is truly impressive, uh... Excellent. <laughs> if, you, if you should ever need Father David, you're welcome to spend any night you want in the room I am renting. A big part of me does not want you sleeping in this place. There are bad energies everywhere. All things happened in this place. There's no doubt about it. But I, I've yet to get a solid reason why I need to leave, even for a night. <clears throat> also, say, appeared. Hmm? I'd say a pretty solid reason is uh, the murders that happened here. Just best not to think about it. Just like my gran always said, turn it off like a light switch. <laughs> <laughs> the slurped. Oh, that's, that's okay. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. This is far think... off fucking expression. <laughs> I don't think turning it off would do much good in this place. Oh, obviously not, but you just don't think about it until you need to. Now we've got, uh, well, a handful of things that we can focus on, and that's before, what I'm choosing to focus on. Before Father David can finish, and Dandes reached out and put his hand on top of his. Please be careful, Father David. Down with the hand, takes a breath, looks at uh, Dante. You still have the rosary I gave you, right? And I also have my own. Good man. His holy love would protect us. I am not sure whether. The love of God can really protect us in this place. However, I do cross myself whenever entering certain doors. Are there and any part? And I'm not dead yet, so... Win-win. It's a very good thing, that. We're going to be striving to keep it that way. <laughs> Which doors in particular tend to frighten you so, Andante? There is the doors to the basement. They feel You've cold, been in the basement. Very... Well, I kind of have to. It's where the laundry machines are. Mm. Well, some of them. Have to do Mr. Shafter's laundry, or are you just doing your laundry here? It is cheaper to do my laundry here rather than renting a laundry mat. Enough of that. Would you like me to try and bless the room? I think that would be a good idea, yes. And I would like to be there with you when you do. 
If that tall bastard comes for you, I will be sure to give him a little bit of love. Well, there's the odd thing. He leans in a little closer, he's just like looking in on Dante's eyes. When we played that game, I, I found the tall man when I was it. We were playing hide and seek. Found him and he stood there. There was a realization that next round he would be it. He would be finding us. And though I was overwhelmed with fear, though I had every want and reason to try and do something to stop the game there, didn't. And he gave us a camera. He took it out of a chest in Mr. Shafter's room and Sure enough, it, it it worked, amazingly. Showing things that I didn't think we would be able to see with our own eyes. And no one was hurt, even when he found me. It wasn't a jolt of fear, it was more of the sudden tension of being found in a closet. Holding back on doing another fucking loud sip. God damn it. <laughs> hmm. Perhaps he is truly trying to help. He, you said he was friends with the little girl, yes? Yes, they, they would play games together all the time and mostly just laughed when he caught her. Either way, she wasn't scared of him. She was giggling in glee. She was not scared of him. Perhaps that means he is not to be scared of. Children often see things more clearly than adults. They do not judge so much upon how you look. Although, I am not personally going to have anything to do with that tall bastard. God <sighs> damn it. I don't blame you. Having seen him, I've seen him once is more than enough, than enough for me. To try to figure out what rhyme or reason goes along with the tall man. But until then... Most assuredly, keeping your distance would be wise. Perhaps, you finding, know, hmm? perhaps finding out who he used to be will help un uh, untangle the mystery somewhat. Hopefully. In the meantime, uh, Dr. Celeste LeBlanc got a bunch of water guns and super soakers, and uh, they've been filled with holy water. What a perfectly normal thing to say in a conversation. Yeah. Completely normal. <laughs> well, that is not the kind of uh, that is not the kind uh, the kind of sentence that I was expecting to be hearing today. Further read. It's not a string of words I would have previously thought of, but it's it, it happened and it's happening. And there's a small water pistol in my pocket as we speak. I mean, he's a, uh, he's a really pretty... Father David saying strapped 24-7. <laughs> Look, <he's... laughs> first of all, yes. Second of all, he's a priest. He said way weirder things. You really would fit right into America. You are bearing arms as we speak. <laughs> Water pistol. I've never held a real gun. If we oh. tell that to the Americans, I think they'll laugh. Mr. Shafter will not believe you. He will also not believe me when I tell him that I have never either. No, he would. In Raymond's <laughs> world, guns are something for security guards and, like, I don't know, gardeners. 
He oh, is yeah, the yeah, gardener. Yeah. Raymond and Dante is the gardener. Yeah, see? Oh, that's what you mean. Yeah, I get it now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's fair. That's a bit odd. But I'm sure there are pacifist gardeners. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I got completely derailed by Mitch's fucking comments. Yeah. <laughs> it's draft. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, everyday carry a uh, gun. You know, your everyday walking around gun. Everyday walking around pistol. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Which is different from your store pistol, your wedding pistol. Yeah, uh, the small and then that, oh, just, you know, those are your pistols because you also carry around, uh, uh like a walk around rifle, store rifle, white rifle. You, no, you, you, don't, you don't need any of that. The important thing is you have a normal pistol for the day, you have a small pistol for the evening, you know, you have a it's classy, sweet, little, small little, pistol for the evening, yeah, little fashionable ones for dinner yeah, parties, classy. But, you, know, you don't need that, yeah. Much. Then there is, of, of all, of course, if you've spent it one entire year in America, you need to have the 4th of July pistol, which is just the biggest, <laughs> most cartoonish-looking thing you've ever fucking seen, and you uh, you just shoot fireworks out of that. That is I the thought, ammunition. I thought exactly. That, I thought that's just a, a Civil War cannon strapped to the roof of your house. Uh, no, 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 no. That's, uh, that's for a different day. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, indeed. I must say, Father David, this cold cannon is uh, delicious. Thank you. It was my grandfather's recipe. You have to give it to me. I love scaring Raymond with new recipes. He has not tried yet. Well, unfortunately for you and your kicks, I made more cold cannon for everybody else and. Oh, well, I hope they don't feel bad that you know, we're sitting out here at the big table and they're sitting in the kitchen in the small one. Well, I think they're, uh, they are assuming quite a few things. Oh? Well, let's just say, I stand by my previous comment. A few question marks popping up. What did he? What did he say before? <laughs> he uh, he means he stands by his previous uh, previous comment of him being sorry to have broken Father David's heart. Oh, oh not gonna think about it. Not gonna think about it. Not gonna think about it. Maybe I just. I'll be fine. <laughs> uh, and then is pressing X to out. Everybody got, uh, I think, a nice sized bowl tonight. We should be sleeping like babies. Well, if we'd be sleeping tonight. Personally, I will be sleeping. That's and good. Like I said, you are more than welcome to join me in my apartment. I wouldn't want to intrude. It is no intrusion. There's an entire bed and a whole ass couch. Take the couch. If I ever need to uh, spend the night away from... Well, fair, fair manner. Looks up at the ceiling and kind of around. Almost like he's half expecting to see a specter there. Mm -hmm. <coughs> you fucking shit! Huh? What? The Connor fucking kind of made a sound. I was on full tension alert. <laughs> I just coughed. <laughs> Chill, G. Chill! I'm sorry I have lungs! <laughs> Holy shit! 
Spider Look at no. this motherfucker. First of all, how bitch. dare you? Yeah. How dare you cough in a moment of fucking silence? You yep. fucker and your human noises. Disgusting. God, just, God, just do what we did. Get rid of the lungs. I'm sorry. <laughs> this fucking bitch. Ugh, this kid. And Dante looks around. This fucking as well. guy. And Dante looks around as well. I wouldn't blame you. It is a big and extraordinarily creepy mansion. Very big. Maybe at some point this week I'll take a, a small reprieve. Oh, we could probably rent a movie. That'd be nice. I would love to. What sorts of movies do you like to watch, Father Louise? Something romantic, I... like The Exorcist. <laughs> Uh, it's a little bit of, uh, it's a whitey film, I'll say. Uh, but I kind of like Ghostbusters. <laughs> I would be down for that. I, I, actually, no, I have to ask. <laughs> the version of Ghostbusters Father David watches... Is it the airline version where all the sex scenes are cut out? <laughs> Probably the only Probably. one. He, like, only one he could get Probably his hands on. Probably the only one he knows exists. <laughs> he did say it was a wily one. He I mean, did. I mean, it still is. It's not like the that ghost blowjob is dominating the movie or anything. <laughs> it's still there. When you're a horny teen, the blowjob scene kind of encompasses everything else along with the I am the gatekeeper and I am the key master scene. <laughs> Man, I guess I was not a horny teen. Well, you are asexual. Yeah, you're asexual. That's fair. <laughs> what movies do you like to watch? No, sorry, that was just my fucking mistake. Do you like to watch on Dante? Well, I will always have a soft spot for the telenovelas. And also the Mamma Mia movies. Eyes get big. Like he was just like midway taking like another sip of like the fucking wine. Just fucking, you can tell he almost like chokes on it. You watch the Mamma Mia movies? I did. And I unabashedly cried at the second one. I cried too! Why? <laughs> oh, she that's... had no reason to kill off Donna. She was such a good mother. And then they just, boom, she's gone. And now we're dealing, we're just standing there in the wake of everything and going through her life and exactly. what really inspired the first movie. Oh, and honestly, it is so much of a cheer jerker. That one, oh, the scene in the church. It gets me every single time. Oh, with the baby, and oh, like she could see. It's like she's connected to her mother through time and through their own personal journeys. It it gets me every time. I'm going to have to bring a bring an entire box of Kleenex. And I'm going to have to uh, I'm going to have to call my mother every time after I watch that movie. Oh, we're watching it together. Absolutely, we're watching it together. That's an excellent plan. <laughs> well, for now, let us enjoy this resplendent feast that you have provided, Father David. He cheers him once more. And cheers him back. back. And then you get back to having that delightful dinner. Now, oh, yes. Now, with so much more knowledge of the artist formerly known as Niel. At dinner, there's extensive talk about the lore in Mamma Mia. Oh, yeah. They just keep going about that. At a certain point, Dr. Celeste Blanc stands up, seeing the two of them hitting it off uh, quite nicely. Looks over to Raymond and a small smile. Walks over, gives his shoulder a squeeze on the uh, on the way past, and walks into the kitchen. Yeah. 
Uh, Jonah quickly, or seeing that, is quickly sprinting back into the kitchen. <laughs> uh, bowl still in hand. Oh. <laughs> uh, he thinks he's being quiet, but he's not. <laughs> yeah, Naive adjusts. and if Huda, I knew they would be uh, they would be listening. Raymond adjusts his what? tie and walks normally towards the kitchen. Never mind. Well, to paraphrase a great philosopher, uh, love uh, finds a way. Uh. <clears throat> Time to drink more. <laughs> uh, Patty is sitting up on a counter, eating, uh, swinging her legs. <laughs> I can't believe that. I can't believe me uh, and Dante knew how to speak English all this time. Sister, uh, says Doctor Celeste LeBlanc as she's stuffing her face with pork cannon. Because he speaks English, how else would he communicate with me and my family? Well, did you know he spoke English? Well, yes. I just tried to speak I mean... Spanish to be polite. It's kind of obvious they spoke English because he understood everything we said when we talked to him. In English? Yeah. My, fam my, oh, family, right. my family lives in New England. You can't get away with just Spanish there. Mostly. Uh, I guess you really can't. It's not like it's Polish. <laughs> Boy, do I feel like a fool. I forgot you're from the Northeast. What? I was talking to Raymond. Yeah. Oh. New England, <laughs> northeast that, coast. So that explains so much. <laughs> yeah, for what I know about uh, America, that makes a lot of sense. I mean, I, I went out of my way to make him a stereotype. <laughs> that explains so much. Okay, I'm gonna go back to eating food. <laughs> Did you say that out loud? <laughs> yes. oh, well then. And it is pretty good food too. Oh, it's amazing. I hope Father David makes this again. It's been a long time since I've had this good for Cole Cannon. Yeah. Didn't I write down where he started? Oh yeah, he was in Princeton. <laughs> he, oh. he, he couldn't make it to Harvard Harvard. So <laughs> Well, at least it wasn't Yale. So anyway, having had that meal and that revelation, do you guys want to do anything else uh, that evening, that night, or do you just head to bed after uh, after dinner? I gotta be honest. Meta-wise, I really want to roll for stats. You do get uh, to roll for stats. Yeah. And Jonah has absolutely stuffed his face. So he is about to pass out. Jonah, yeah. Jonah has the rough manners of a Yale. <laughs> There's nothing bad with that. <laughs> anyway, after the dinner, Andante and Father David go and watch more soap uh, operas. Andante insisted because, well, they always seem to, they always cheer him up when he's feeling a little bit down. This way, Father David can let his tears out without it looking like he's crying for oh, other things. No. Exactly. Oh no! Oh no! Look, we we can. No. I can take you to the pet shop and we can buy you another andante. It's fine. <laughs> no. Oh no! That's fucked up. Rosita deserved better. <laughs> <laughs> Just saw this fucking stop. Yeah. Man, it wouldn't be this hard to do an open marriage. God damn it, andante. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of the heteronormativity in this game. <laughs> Don't worry, Dr. Sylvester LeBlanc represents. Yeah. That she do. Mm -hmm. Well, we don't know what Raymond even is, so... Oh, hey, the map is finally finished loading in. Yay! Oh. Oh, oh shit. Ah, oh, man. The good old days <laughs> of 65k internet. <laughs> oh, oh kill me I wish I my internet was that fast <laughs> <laughs> I had that I kind of internet I'm that old oh. 
at least there's at least one thing I know Father David would mention to Andante. Yeah? Is that he does not have a family, but he's starting to see a bit of family in Jonah and Patty, Aww. particularly. Oh, as Father David says that, Andante will look over to him and smile. I know how you feel. They are good people. And god damn it, Jonah reminds me a little bit of my oldest. He also is too skinny, needs to eat more. <laughs> oh yes, uh, fully agreed. Uh, quiet packed from now on that will just try to feed Jonah a little bit more. Why do you think I've been making bacon every single morning? Twice. Jonah sees this as an abs- Jonah's gonna be good with this. <laughs> That's an absolute win. <laughs> yeah. Patty's You've been a- pouring more food. Congratulations, did, Jonah. Did, you got two what dads. What did Father David miss? What did Father David make? Uh, Coke cannon. cannon. Let me send you a picture. It's basically mashed potatoes with uh, with fish in it, and it is delicious. Oh, oh no, 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 oh. no. There's like, like, um... Oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's got bacon in it, right? It's, yeah, like a Father David grab, like, the, the thick butcher so it, uh, it's, bacon. It's something you spoon into a bowl. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Patty but, is spooning more stuff into Jonah's isn't bowl. Isn't that most American food? Aww. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, no problem. We've all just taken the pack that Jonah needs to eat more. Yeah. Jonah needs Silent to eat. yes. Yeah. He is a growing young man. All right, Connor, he I'm going to send you nutrients. this fucking picture to you. This food. is Cole Cannon. Look. So it's like this, but with like really thick boy bacon. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Each boy. Here's the thing. Raymond is... Raymond just wants him to dress better and be more sophisticated. Everyone else just wants him to gain a few bones. <laughs> bones? Yeah, we, we love Jonah. We just want him to have like a few more bones, like uh, maybe exactly. maybe another uh, you know femur. That might, that might yeah, be another fun. femur exactly. too. Another femur. Some yeah, I mean, ribs. everyone needs a second femur. Er, <laughs> yeah, everyone <laughs> needs a second right femur. You were th- mm-hmm. did did you have to think about how many femurs a man has? <laughs> you have to think. I just you. misspoke, and I cannot. I just misspoke, and I'm just going with it. I'm sure you did. I'm sure you did. Eyeing you. There's a few more phalanges. It'll be great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I could really, yeah, I could use a femur or two. Just to take the, yeah, take the weight off. <laughs> so so do we, anyway. Do we go to bed and roll for stats? You do go to bed and roll for stats. I'm, I'm go clapping, ahead, everyone. I'm clapping my hands like I'm a seal. <laughs> 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 I'm very excited. I'm excited about stuff. Very excited. I'm just zoop you all into bed. Degrees, priest junk. Ah oh, man, I love Father David C. Yes. Priest <laughs> junk. <laughs> Terrible. Definitely not gonna cry myself to sleep. Definitely not. I just figured he did that every night. Yeah. No, there's praying, and then he falls into an uneasy slumber, but oh. he's a little emotionally raw tonight. Yeah. So we're trying to get above the stat. Well, why yes. don't you? Why don't you pray to your God to feel better? Well, he does. He does. Yeah. How did that work out for you? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I shoot. I score. Yeah. And yeah. okay. uh, we're trying to roll over current. Yes. Yeah. Come on. Ah. Uh, yes. Oof. Uh, I rolled a hundred. Wow. Nice. I want to so, say, you know, a what? spot hidden goes up. You know what? If you roll a hundred on your uh, on your fucking uh. And your and your skill level up things. I want to say you're allowed to level uh, to level it up one more point outside of what you roll. So whatever you roll so plus, plus one. one. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. That's uh, that was a D10, right? 
Yes, a D10. A D10. I'm gonna I'm gonna add that to add to the skill level. Seven. Oh, ah, fuck that one up. Let's add one. All right. History ninety one. Very nice. Next one. Failed. Okay. Next one. Failed. <laughs> Damn. Oh well, I know a lot about history. I just don't know how to search for it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can't fucking read, but you know it. <laughs> Ain't that the worst, though? Like, you know, you're an expert painter, but you can't afford paint. Or a brush. It's grown dark. It All you gotta do. Is to grab a little bit of luck of your hair, you just snip it right off, and then you tie it to a stick. Boom, paintbrush. I've done this before. <laughs> oh, then, it's night. Thing you do if you need a paintbrush, you just get <laughs> get a fuzzy little creature, and you cut out the tail, and you stick it in the bit uh, of paint that you stole. No. And then you paint it, and you drink the rest no. of the paint. No. Oh. No. 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 That's illegal. It is. You can't do that. It's illegal. It's against the law. It's a crime. You can't do that. Wait, murder? But that's illegal. Yeah. You can't do that. You can't do that. Because there's a law against it. <laughs> can't argue against that. Night falls over the matter. What, um, what, was, what was our plan for the, the pictures, by the way? Next one you're going to be taking is uh, one of the pond. Father David said so. Right, the pond thing. I forgot. Yes. Not to pond. Work. Pond. Pond. So I want to say, we, I want to say, we all get up at the break of dawn when the um, the what are they called? With the male chickens. Roosters. Roosters? When the roosters rooster crow? When the roosters crow, exactly. We go up, we go to the pond, we make some nice pictures. We'll see what we see. Yeah. That is a very, very good idea. So anyway, uh, is everybody done rolling for their level up? Uh, I am. Yep. Connor? Yes, I actually did that when it came in. Wonderful. Nice. So, in that case, dawn breaks. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, map layer, there we go. Do we have a, a rooster noise? Um... Cock doodle doo. Cock doodle doo. In German, it's kick kickery key. Kickery key. Yeah. Hang on. By uh... the way, the reason I couldn't think of rooster is that I always want to translate that word with faucet. <laughs> okay. Because it's the same one. I mean, fair enough. All right. So, okay. This is the. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on, hang on a second. Hang on! Wait up, wait up. Move my arms back. Oh. I'm grabbing onto Connor and Mitch, let's go! We're hanging yeah. on! Yeah. I guess I'm just gonna get swept away. No one's holding on to me. Oh. I'm sorry, Mitch, this is up, gonna grab get hooned. Okay. I will reach out and grab Hoond. No, I don't want You're, you're being held. Nope, don't want anymore. Held so tight! Don't want yeah. a pity hold. Nope. Group hug. Wait. Nope. There we go. Well. Layer. Go. Objects. Layer. Map layer. And then. It's dark again. I know, I'm sorry. Help. And then. To back. Ghosts come out at night. Oh. The ghosts come out at night. Bum, bum. <laughs> Why can't you be more priestly? Yeah. What do you mean? 
I fucked up and my and my uh, map layers for a hot second there. Gotcha. Anyway, so you all rest easily through the night, actually. Not wow. a lot of anything happens, surprisingly. And morning comes with uh, morning comes slowly and gently with a grey sky and fog rolling over the pond. Father David is one of the first to awaken. He doesn't feel like he slept too well. He had a lot of things on his mind. But luckily the task at hand is going to keep him busy. At least he tells himself so. So he descends the stairs down into the hall and decides to take a path through the music room out onto the little terrace right there through the glass doors where he can easily snap a picture of the lake. He's soon enough joined by... Uh, by Paddy, Raymond and Dr. Celeste LeBlanc who come to meet him as he stands out on the little patio staring wistfully out over the pond. You're, you're very fast! <laughs> fast as fuck! Fast as fuck, boy! Oh. Well, it Father seems... David calmly thinking to himself, I should buy a boat. I should buy a boat. Oh. Wait, why should he get a boat? Uh. Uh. Yeah, Raymond just in yeah. a Raymond in a chair. Just it's good to have land. Despite having the blooms in my room, I don't think I was visited by anyone. Hmm. Were you weird? Were you expecting someone? Well, yes. Remember? No. Willow, Apple, Clementine. You tried well... to summon. Uh, you tried to summon three uh, priest-loving ghosts, shall we say? Yeah. Uh, well. Yeah. We mm. set up the cameras, so might as well take a look. Patty walks over <laughs> to one of the seats. Plops down, uh, has to like edge forward because too small to recline all the way back. Small, um, very small. Sets up her laptop. And as she does so, Father David looks out over the pond and snaps a picture of that gray, scenic morning. Raymond just looks over the just prevailing fog and the, um, you know, the bog. <sighs> England. No wonder. Yeah, that's pretty much it for us here. No wonder they invented the bagpipe for the north. <laughs> God fucking damn it. Gotta have the music talk wail as much as their hearts do. No. <laughs> See, the human mind cannot encompass the the amount of misery that comes from a country like this. So they they had to invent an instrument to make it make it manifest. Yeah, yeah, that that explains the bagpipe. <laughs> yeah, I wish priest just turns and looks at the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, are you two quite done yet? Patty. If yes. you uh, if you would kindly roll me, let's see, that would be an observer. Was it? Would it be a camera use? Camera use that might be more of like a fucking like snapping a picture. Hmm. Uh, camera use would be photography. Yeah. The, uh, the base the base level for that skill is ten. If you don't have it. Oh. Uh... 
I do have it. This is like one of my main jobs. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, Same, actually. I succeed. Oh, nice. Wonderful. As Patty looks through the footage, she sees, well, a few things. Not so, much, not so much anything in Father David's room, or in any of your rooms, really. Mostly, it's hallway related. There seems to have been some activity. Oh. She sees. She she sees, something that almost looks like, a shimmering silhouette, walking down the hallway. And she sees the paint uh, the paintings on the walls shifting ever so slightly, as the silhouette passes them. Oh, it's that one. I forgot the name, but I, I remember the ghost. Yeah. Claire. Wait, wait, ghost bliss? Da, 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 da. No. No. Uh. Mm. I'll find it eventually. <laughs> it's number two. Oh, the fat lady again. Okay. Well, we already met her. Mm -hmm. Well... We got something. Not what we were what? looking for. That's the huh. that's the uh, shimmering silhouette that the fat lady moves out of frame. There's one moment where Patty spots something just around the corner, watching the fat lady. It appears to be another silhouette, but this one is stronger. It's more visible what it is, but it's only there for such a short moment that it's hard to tell. Although it does appear to have a, a distinctly pink color to it. Hmm. If you'd like to roll an idea, you might get a hint as to whom that is. Sure. Uh, Patty starts pulling out some uh, video editing software. Begin splicing apart frame by frame as she makes a roll. Zoom and enhance. What? Zoom enhance. and enhance. Pan. Zoom and enhance. <laughs> Pan to the right. <laughs> uh, Patty succeeds. Nice. She will remember hearing about this ghost. Woo. Because it fucking, it fucking checks out. This is a strange entity. Seems ephemeral. And uh, only ever appears in the corner of, uh, of the eye and around corners of the mansion. That's the shy lady. Oh. oh, baby. Also, uh, I believe we've just verified that Lady Fair fell. F <laughs> Words. Uh, we have confirmed that Lady Felfair and the Shy Lady are two different entities. Oh, excellent. Hmm. Anyway, as Patty Green confirms this. The picture in Father David's hands finishes developing. It took a little longer than the others due to the moisture in the air. But out it comes. And it is a, it is a serene view of the lake indeed. There's something rather unsettling in the middle. I like that. Oh. oh. Okay. Okay. Is all wind enhance? Wait, this isn't technology. Uh. <laughs> uh, uh. Father, I cannot zoom in on the Polaroid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm. Well, uh, the picture developed, and there's certainly uh, something in the lake. Oh? He, like, motions, like, Raymond and Celeste over towards the table. He sits down on the other chair. And they drop the Father David. There we go. Yeah. He sets the picture down on the table. I'm going to just upload it to Discord in case it doesn't uh, come, up, uh, come up well in Roll20 for everyone. Okay. Well, that's a thing. Huh. 
I mean, I shouldn't be surprised, but yay, more ghosts. Uh, giant ponds, there's stuff out there. Oh, totally. All right, yes. who wants who wants to go swimming out there? Mm, I didn't bring my swimming trousers. <sighs> I brought a snorkel, says Dr. Celeste LeBlanc, because of course she did. Snorkel? Why did you bring a snorkel? Oh, well, if you don't mind me asking. Well, I figured it might be nice to go for a swim once in a while. There's no reason not to. And also, maybe there would be something at the bottom of the pond, but, you, you know, the, the chances would be minuscule, but... Might as well bring a snorkel. I suppose I it's can't an old Victorian. With it's an old Victorian-era manor. Of course there's shit at the bottom of that pond. Exactly. Yeah, there's probably a body... Uh, fine, I'll go change. Hence why there is a ghost. Oh, dear. And yeah, Please. I'll also get ready. Ellie, did you even have breakfast yet? No, and it's bad to eat before you go swimming. You'll get a cramp. That's why you take a, you take a break before you do that. You, ah. Oh, oh I'll also be well. back enough. in a second. Alrighty. I'm back. Sorry. Hello. Yeah. I'm sorry I didn't see the uh, uh, the be right back message, but yeah, uh, I have, I uploaded the Polaroid for you. Yeah, I saw it. Good. Wonderful. No, it, it's fine. I just you know toilet emergency. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Yeah, that, that, you know that gets priority. <laughs> it does. Oof. So what what did the Polaroid uh, show? Oh, it's uh, uploaded to Discord for you. No, I mean like what. I, I get it that's like a, a vague figure in the fog. Is there anything else to it? It's a vague figure in the fog, standing in the middle of the pond. Oh, delightful. Okay. Where's nobody's really... No, nobody's rolled anything to, like, uh, try and gather more from it yet. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see what I have. Okay, I return. Uh, With, uh, what? Uh, roll in for uh, swimming? Or if we have... Uh... <laughs> Women. Yeah, if we have <laughs> swim stuff. You do, actually. You would, The swim skill has a base of 25. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh. So what was uh, what was Patty rolling for there? Uh, what? Oh, photography? That was when Patty was going through the oh. camera footage. Yeah. Okay, sorry. I'm assuming that those... I'm assuming that the rest of the PCs are going to take the time to look over the footage. <laughs> The I mean, picture the I mean, Father yeah. David found. I, I'm not quite. I'm not quite. Is Jonah trying to swim out? To I mean, he probably they, will be uh, uh, when we're all. Uh, they saw. How do you know? Was... Okay, so. The... Okay, I'll I'll explain. They saw the uh, the picture, the Polaroid of the mysterious figure standing in the middle of the pond. Now they've decided to go scuba diving to try and see if they can find a body. Ah, oh, okay. That, and... that makes a lot of sense. Patty and Celeste are going up to get changed in the swimming gear so they can go do some dumb shit in the pond, probably get drowned by a ghost or some shit. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I've... I guess... I guess Jonah and Raymond are more... hands-on. Where's Miguel? Is he somewhere? Oh, Miguel is not there yet. It's too oh, okay. early for him to have turned up. Well... Also, Andante is not there yet. Oh, yeah. Sorry. It's in character. <laughs> it, is. it is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, changing changing names takes a bit of memory work. I should know. We all should. Yep. Andante, mm. Andante. Uh, why are we inside again? Mm -hmm. No, why? I assume we're going to be getting ready to swim for those swimming. Oh, yep. okay. Are you changing? Yeah, Father oh, David goes upstairs. Oh. Uh, All right. Well, um, yeah, Raymond will scoot upstairs, change into his swimming trunks from his, I don't know, <laughs> like his morning suit and tie. <laughs> <laughs> he wears a, is it, 
I mean, he wears a dinner jacket. Truly, there's a morning jacket too, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like a breakfast outfit. Yes. So he's just changing into his swimming trunks. The ones he presumably wears under the shower. <laughs> 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 and he uh, just uh, jogs back down at a leisurely pace while hyping himself up for swimming. Yeah. As far as I remember, Raymond is rather good at swimming, isn't he? He, he uh, He's yeah, smart. He, yeah, he had like swimming. He was like part of the swimming team in college and stuff. Wonderful. It wasn't his main club, though. So it's only at a it's only at a fifty, which is still twice of the base, but still. Um, yeah. Yeah. Father David does not have swim trunks, so he just gets into shorts and a t-shirt, and he brings a shit ton of towels, like That's three towels underneath each arm. Oh, Father David, do you want some floaties? <laughs> get you some. I know how to swim. Do we get you some floaties, Father David? No, do I'm we... not gonna be. It's just you... in case. Do we get you a don't big shut... inflatable? Get you a big inflatable duck? No, I don't <laughs> need a big inflatable duck. <laughs> it's duck. I mean, why not though? It's a big inflatable I don't, duck. I just... I don't need a big inflatable duck. What am I going to do with the big inflatable duck? We're just going to have it sitting there in the corner. Bibs on the big inflatable duck. <laughs> Don't Raymond... you can have a big inflatable duck. Raymond... Oh, yeah. Raymond is clearly joking. He's just a bit worried that, like, I don't know, going swimming in a shirt will, uh, will drag you down. That's not good. Fucking t shirt. Oh. Yeah, no, Raymond will actually, you know, Father David, get rid of the shirt. It will, it'll just, it'll get soaked and it will drag you down. It's not, it's not safe. Especially in a bulk. I'm just a little self-conscious about uh, some things. Only, oh, we've I all seen everything there is to see in terms of human bodies, I am sure. I went to college. I went to Princeton, for oh. fuck's sake. Ooh, I shouldn't have said that. Of course you went Ooh, to Princeton. Princeton. God. Damn it. <laughs> Father David passes Patty a nervous look. Patty knows exactly what he's talking about because uh, Father David showed off like the big fucking demon yep. claw scars. Yep. <laughs> it's, also, it's fine. You don't have to go swimming. Also, should, um, not Father go David swimming. should be fucking ripped. Yeah, it just like, takes off the shirt. <laughs> and he's like listening. <laughs> he, has <the> second, <laughs> he has the second highest strength stat in the, in the fucking party. Yeah. He should he have does. an eight pack. He should. Like, it's just glistening pack, like, well-oiled for some reason. No, I'm, I'm it's so constantly. Like, why are you shiny yeah, just, just very, oil? But very shy about, I know I'm not in, in as good a shape as the rest of the priesthood, but still. <laughs> not in as good um, a shape as the rest the of the priesthood. It's not the priesthood. It's like prison. All they do is work out all day, every day. <laughs> we always, our always bodies in, are temples. Always in the churchyard. Just lifting weights. <laughs> the churchyard lifting weights. Tossing around the thick books, you know how it is. Yeah. yeah. Um, Patty has come prepared with two different swimming outfits. Uh, the first one is Hot Girl Summer, and the second one is Adventure Patty. Uh, <laughs> Patty oh, comes Patty. down in Adventure Patty outfit, which is just like a uh, like a blue one piece. She's got her hair pinned back. Uh, she's washed makeup off of her face. Uh, she did. She does have a little rubber ducky that they use for a bath. I, honestly, I expected a third option, like English Beach, <laughs> which is just the most depressing thing. It's the most depressing full-bodied swimsuit outfit. It's it's like like swim, yeah. just like a swimsuit. She's just a rectangle. Yes, yeah, like a swimsuit, but more like a potato sack. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, why Jonah is just, or it's also why Jonah is coming out with uh, swim trunks and a t-shirt because it's fucking England. Oh yeah, it is. Actually, Jonah, since he is actually a Brit, should have flip flops. Flippy floppies. I'm just saying. Flippity floppies. Nah, nah, he'll be barefoot. How sophisticated of you. <laughs> Wait. Uh, let's try and swim. Watch me fail my swim track. 
This is gonna be fun. So before we go diving into the pond, let's figure out what we're doing first. Oh, well, uh, looking for a dead body. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, hopefully not. Uh, it's prob that's probably what we're gonna find. Uh, like being I mean, I'd be surprised if there's only one, honestly. Honestly, yeah. Knowing this house. It's out there in this fucking short. I feel exposed to the elements. I'm not covered. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Father David. It'll be a short trip. That pond can't be that deep. I Man. I don't think I'll be going in. The you know, when I packed for swimwear, I was expecting like nude beaches in Italy. Now I'm just gonna freeze my tits off in a cold ass English pond. Yeah. Ooh, I got plenty of towels. Just... Don't worry, it'll be nice and toasty warm. Raymond half mumbles to himself uh, up at the break of dawn, looking for a dead body in a pond. I thought I'm out of college. <laughs> <laughs> Father David does a double take of like, he went from the <laughs> ecstasy of having a shit ton of towels to like the sheer grinding halt of, why were you looking for bodies at college? Uh, Patty looks at Father David and looks back at Raymond, just nods at Raymond. You too, huh? <laughs> just looks back and just prints them. Damn, I can't wait for college. <laughs> You're not going to Princeton. You're just not. If you gotta get up and look for bodies, we're not doing it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's on. the only objection here. <laughs> it's valuable life lessons. They're coming in handy right now, aren't they? Now let's go. Yeah. Oh man. Okay. Let's so Le LeBlanc, LeBlanc, LeBlanc. We should figure out who's actually going into the pond and who isn't, because if something happens, we should have people on the shore to help. Oh right, right. So I'll be on shore. That's why I brought the rubber ducky. This is gonna sound super weird. She pulls out like a, she, uh, from like a little towel sack. She has. She pulls out like a piece of string. Uh, it's surprisingly long. It's a long piece of twine. So we shouldn't have to go too deep under. But one of us ties us to themselves. If they get pulled under by whatever, I don't know, crazy ghost, or it's deeper than they intend. Rubber ducky goes underwater. That means that person needs help. Right. Excellent. Simple Good enough. Idea. Makes sense. We should have two people go in, buddy system, and first of all, who knows? Who here knows how to swim? Show of hands. Raymond. Raymond, Raymond holds up an arm to call her swim That's team. Dr. Celeste LeBlanc slowly raises uh, her hand. It's been a while, but I should remember. Father uh, David just kind of crosses his arms. I know how to doggy paddle. I'm not sure if that's... Uh... All right, so the baby and the father will be staying on the shore. <laughs> <laughs> LeBlanc, do you know how to swim? Yeah! Jonah will frown. That's why I brought my snorkel. Okay. LeBlanc will have you stay on the shore as well in case something goes wrong and we need help. Can I see that photo for a second? Father David kind of walks over with a little photo. Passes it to uh, Pieti. Pieti. Uh, Pieti. Patty goes back up onto the deck and holds the photo out so she can compare the pond to the photo. It almost looks like she's looking out at the church. Does, a little Kinda. bit. Um, and Patty is going to try and like figure out the general area of where in the pond the figure was standing. It seems to be smack dab in the middle. Mm. Well, that All right. makes it well if easy. she's looking at the church, could she be one of the three um, wildflowers? Oh, that's... That's a good theory. Let's, let's worth not a shot get, to figure out. Let's not get uh, bogged down in details right now. Let's dive in and see what we find first. I mean, yeah, we don't know quite enough to come to any conclusions, but... Yeah. Raymond will, will don his swimming goggles, and goddammit, all I can think of right now is that ridiculous swimming scene from Golden Boy. <laughs> God. All right. Oh, man, that is the peak of comedy right there. Oh, fuck. Yeah. All right. All right, Raymond, you ready? 
Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna roll with. <laughs> oh, for fuck's oh, sake. Oh, <laughs> His foot gets lost in the mud and he just face plants. Yeah. Unfortunately for Raymond, he uh, steps onto the muddy bank of the, uh, of the pond, uh, doesn't expect it to be as muddy and soft as it is, and immediately falls and lands face first into the water. I would have expected That's... I'd try to dive in, like, hand first and just land into half a feet of water. You know what? Not... Yeah. That's... Ooh. Just yeah, we'll of... go with that. Ooh, just... ooh, that is how you fuck your back just up for splat. ever. Yeah, just splat, and then I'm gonna slowly crawl forward into the water. <laughs> oh, This is how okay. we did it at Princeton. Uh, <laughs> Jonah <laughs> will laugh a little bit, pause... Wait, shit, are you okay? And without <laughs> waiting for an answer, continue laughing. <laughs> just like fringes for a moment. Just like, ooh. Ah. Ooh. That's oh. gonna be scrapes. <laughs> like the mucky scrape sounds of a body being dragged across the blood. Okay. I, like a, I like don't a, think uh, he wants us to mention it. A lot of splurging sounds. <laughs> Your blood okay. just goes away. Uh, Patty like lowers her swimming goggles <laughs> and begins to wade out into the water. <laughs> <laughs> you wade out into the water, and Raymond uh, slithers on out into the water. <laughs> and... Not like a snake. Well. It doesn't seem to be a very deep pond at all. It kind of just keeps going, very shallow for a, uh, for a while. The mud is thick and sticky and keeps trying to drag you down. Every single step seems harder to take. Until you get about one third of the way out there. The very next step that Patty takes, there is nothing. It almost uh, seems like there's a goddamn abyss ready to swallow her the fuck up. Oh god, Patty's like four foot ten. She's already swimming by this point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Raymond, who's been slithering all the while, is uh, is staying afloat, but he feels that suck as that abyss opens up beneath him. It appears that the pond is indeed a lot deeper than it seems. Well, he has his swimming goggles on, even though they're full of mud. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> He's just going to dive underwater and have a better look. He dives down underwater. The silence takes him immediately. That ain't good. <laughs> Music <laughs> cuts out. Music cuts out as silence takes him. Retro a record scratch would have been even better. <laughs> He feels the pressure of that deep, dark, wet, can I cold see, can, I, can I see Petty? Uh, no, because you're facing downwards. Well, if I look around, can I see if you look, If you look around and stare up into... <clears throat> stare up towards the surface, you do see her up there, okay. treading waters. All right, that's, you see uh, the light flitter, uh, flittering down between the waves that you've created. That's good enough. Um, uh, could I declare that Adventure Patty outfit comes with a uh, underwater flashlight? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> what? Are you an action figure? Yes. Yeah. Great. Yeah. That's actually She's great. Yeah, Adventure Patty. Size. Who's your Adventure Patty? <laughs> Who is your arch enemy, Adventure Patty? Uh, uh, Princeton Schaefer. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. Anyway. <clears throat> anyway. You see that deep dark abyss opening up below you and you feel the water pressure upon your ears creating a silence so thick and so deep it almost feels like it's a woolen blanket pressing in on you from all around. Yeah, that's not nice. I don't want to go deeper. <laughs> As Patty turns on her flashlight and aims it down through the waters, they are mercifully clear. And although the pond is deep, it doesn't appear to be bottomless. 
Looking How? behind her, she sees the sheer drop of the mud and sees that it's caused by a little bit of cliff jutting out. Interesting. See, I thought that pond was artificial. Apparently it is not. Yeah. It is a very natural pond. Interesting. Well, so uh, get, um, guess wise, how deep could it be? Oh, this thing is, well, it's easily 10 meters deep, at least. Okay, that's a bit too much to dive unaided, I think. Um, However, you are still <laughs> upon the decline. There's a sheer drop, yes, but it's a slope mm. that goes further and further down. You can see some water plants swaying in the currents below you, and you can see that dark mud reflecting off of uh, off of Patty's flashlight. You even see a few shadows moving in the dark, scared away by the light that you bring with you. Wasn't expecting too much about life, to be honest, but okay. It's a natural pond. Life, uh, finds a way. Yeah. Well. Okay, uh, Raymond will go back up to take a deep breath. And then go back down and start to like scour a random part of the uh, you know just the, the mud and sand I guess. Just to see what's uh, underneath. Marine Adventure Patty will release <laughs> the rubber ducky. Yeah. Good, and good. Dive. It goes bobbing up to the surface as the two of you swim down into the deep. Doki kind of, spotted. I'm going to release my own figurine. <laughs> action shafter. Action shafter. <laughs> With plenty of action shaft action. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't roll off the tongue as easily, it's but... Not. His catchphrase is, time to get shafted. It's not. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's <literally> yes. not. <laughs> anyway, so you're looking for various things in the mud. <laughs> Raymond dives, uh, dives down towards that steep, steep drop. As he runs his hands through the mud, it feels almost velvety soft. It is such fine mud that it almost seems like it's nothing but dust particles floating around in the water as he disturbs it. He doesn't feel much of anything. Yeah. Mm. All of the things must have washed down to, uh, towards the bottom. Not a lot can sit upon this steep drop. Mm. Well, uh... Mm. Baron will go up again. Also, his, his action phrase would obviously be don't worry, I have American Express. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that also checks out. Not as catchy, though. Never fear! American credit cards are here. <clears throat> and Patty goes free diving. How yeah. far down does Patty go? So the bottom was 10 meters? Easily. And that's as much, uh, that is, you know, what you can easily see with your, uh, with your flashlight. It seems like the uh, the decline keeps going a little bit before it flattens out. Uh, Patty stretches out 15 meters and goes down. Oh, she stretches out 15 meters? Uh, of twine. <laughs> okay. Action Patty has also stretching ability. <laughs> <laughs> Patty Elastic. <laughs> she uh, keeps diving down holding her breath as much as he can. As she goes down and down and down into that abyss, the silence and the pressure becomes even more oppressing. It seems to surround her. It seems to... It seems to grasp her. It seems to drag her down to the bottom. But just as she feels it near, uh, nearing a crescendo of that oppressive grasp she spots the actual bottom and she can see things down there it seems like bricks bricks and a few str 
strange shapes that seem so very oddly familiar, but you can't quite place them between all of the, uh, all of the, all of the uh, pond weed overgrowing them. With all the strange debris down there, it almost seems like a tiny <clears throat> sunken village, creating a ghostly visage before her. Something pale glints at her. And she quietly starts hearing something. Something far off. A voice. Though it's distant, it seems to draw her in. And that's about the time the rock, uh, the rubber ducky disappears beneath the surface yeah and i, I want to let's see sorry i was muted i wanted to say let's see if i fail my roll again or if i can actually do something Ooh, okay <laughs> going after oh her. yeah raymond sees paddy going deeper and deeper down he sees her releasing the ducky and he sees it uh, popping up at the surface and then he sees her stopping in the water yeah, I'm just vaguely aiming for the light of a flashlight and hope oh, yeah. I can hope I can grab something to drag her back up. Oh yeah. Because he sees her stopping in that water and he sees her going down further. A slow and steady pace. But it doesn't seem natural. It almost seems like something's got her. So he swims as fast and as hard as he can, reaching her as quickly as he can. And luckily, his years of swimming aid him well as he manages to loop his arms around her waist and drag her back up. Good. Um, how deep were we? Oh, you were easily 15 meters. Easily more. Well, that's not good because that's when the bends start. Actually, way before that. That's when the what starts? Decompression sickness. Oh, I didn't know that. That starts at about six meters minimum. Okay, in that case, let's just say ten meters. Let's better. not be extreme. Okay, better. So let's see. Where's my first For, skill? If Chicken would like to know more about uh, free diving, um, Ben started around six with training a free dive. Uh, someone who recreate recreationally free dives can go to about thirty to forty. Okay. Um, yeah, but that's not us. In that case, I want to say that Patty managed to get to f around five meters when she started feeling that strange pull. Good. Yeah. Um, Patty has a sixty-five swim. Uh, she does this kind of stuff recreationally. Yeah, but I don't. Well, she scuba dives more often. Um, that being said, like absolute fucking freaks of nature. The current record is like two hundred and fourteen meters, but that's not Jesus. us. Wow. Nope. How many atmospheres is that? I have I no know. fucking idea. Wouldn't that crush you? Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, he, the guy who did it basically had like a giant line that line with a weight that pulled him down all the way because he couldn't swim that far down that quickly. <laughs> Fair enough. And it had also had to bring him back up. I just... Okay. Well, some people are weird. Um... Yeah, uh, okay, anyway, when I'll, I was I'll... watching the video. Sorry. Uh, yeah, anyway, Raymond will try and bring Patty back up to the surface. Probably kind of exceeding his own breath, because, you know. Oh, yeah. Swimming in a pool Raymond... is different than diving. It is. <clears throat> Raymond feels that breath tearing and burning at his lungs as he holds Patty close and struggles against the weight of the water, getting up, up, up as fast as he can can feel himself getting dizzy and lightheaded but that light is so close and it's getting so much closer but it's impossible to tell exactly how far away it is ah uh, the wonderful dangers of diving he reaches up with one hand trying to see if he can reach the surface his fingertips don't touch 
anything. He feels a sting of panic hitting his heart. And he gives another uh, he gives another kick in the water and finally he feels his fingers breaching the surface and he breaks it too. Heaving Patty up. Yeah. Heaving Again, just, breath and just coffee. Coming out of the water like in the Golden Boy swimming scene. Gasping for air. <laughs> and then looking oh, yeah. very confident. Mm, yes. <laughs> well, David's like part way in the water. He started to wade in there the moment he saw the fucking rubber ducky go under. Dr. Celeste was soon to follow him and is wading out towards you. Yeah, and Jonah's also following dead. up. <laughs> Jonah is also dead. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? Are you okay? Uh, can, Gracious me! Can Patty speak? Probably not. She had the most curious experience. Actually, well, Launch. Raymond will Raymond will lift her towards the others, so they can just like keep her afloat and go. The like, and go. Like, she just kind of stopped, just just down in the deep, didn't do anything. Like she was ready eyes, to just float down. Her eyes are blank for a moment, but then as that sunshine that's just starting to burn off the clouds hits her eyes, it's as though life fills her body again and she gasps back to life. <laughs> hey. Okay. What happened? Oh goodness oh, gracious! Okay. Can you breathe? Do you need help? I'm fine. <sighs> Just a little dizzy. There was. Oh. Uh... There was something at the bottom. Yeah. I don't think we can go there by just swimming. Not again. <sighs> Definitely not again. Uh, everyone, let's get back to shore. Back to, back to shore. Yeah, that's enough of that. Yeah, that's a good idea. Come. Come on, lass. Dr. Celeste LeBlanc puts her arms around Patty and helps her up to the shore again. All right. And David gives uh, Raymond's back like some wet slappies. <laughs> Are you out of the shirt yet? No. Does it cling to your muscles? It does. Well My God, does it eight cling? <laughs> <laughs> Raymond just kind of stares at it for a bit too long. All right then. You that can see a... like the fucking outline of his <laughs> pectorals and the and the rippling abs. Oh, yeah. Raymond doesn't dare to look further down. <laughs> Please, God, protect, a... protect uh, no. my, my penis outline from the lustful gaze of these Jezebels. <laughs> anyway, Dr. Celeste LeBlanc grabs one of the towels that Father David brought wraps it around Patty as she helps her up onto the onto the little patio again. Um, uh, Patty trudges out through the mud. Uh, just like lies down in a chair. The entire time she is taking like deep breaths in and out trying to stabilize her breathing. Oh yeah. Oh, David. okay. It's so there's a thing down there. What is it? Um, some sort of brick building, some remnants of something. Yeah, some kind of structure. Do we have a? Do we have um, a? Do we have a waterproof camera that we could lower down? You know, uh -oh. it's actually a thing I didn't bring with me. Yeah, I've got a GoPro. Either. I I don't think they're meant to go underwater. Oh yeah! In you, some cases, they no, are. No, yeah. they, You've got your little uh, water protective casing, and it's fine. All right then. 
Better um, than anything I got. Yeah, uh, there was something that was reflecting light, and uh, I hear a sound. I only saw your light. What? What did you hear? Sounded like something out of a horror movie, honestly. Uh, like it's like a weird ghostly choir or something oh dear wait was it singing yeah uh it, yeah it sounded like singing like like a young lady singing I think it's underwater i mean i was underwater so it came in a little weird but yeah probably Cause I heard that too, the first day when we were here, I, I took a shower and I heard it. I think it's the siren, the the pipe ghost. Oh well, shit. That explains a lot. It does not, but okay. <laughs> it actually just raises more questions. Well, okay, 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 so. How about we, we, we get this GoPro, we put it in the case, and we uh, lower it into the into the lake. Oh, that's a really good idea. I like that. And we need, we like we a... need some kind of inflatable boat, though. I... I mean, how much does a GoPro weigh? We can probably use like a... Like a... Uh, what are they called? Oh, like a little motorboat? No, not a. <laughs> I'm thinking of the little, the little rings you have on ships. You throw to people. Oh, like a like, yeah, life like saver. A, like a life saver. Are they called that? Is that the name? Really? Yep. Mm -hmm. That's just lazy. But yeah, okay. <laughs> I think I, I think I, I mean, like, the, like a... speed boat better. That would be <laughs> so cute. <laughs> we got like a wood board or something. I could swim back out there, lower the camera in. Oh no, yeah. you're not going back in that lake. No, we're not All doing right, that. Fine. Yeah, we should probably avoid that if we can. We well, then how are we gonna lower the camera in? Speedboat, like like a little, uh, like a little remote controlled one. We could just get a little. We could just use a, a drone or something. I mean, yeah, same principle, uh, different. Yeah, GoPro element, doesn't. I suppose. Like, GoPro doesn't weigh much. It's fine. It'll sink on its own. In fact, so. You're right. It will. Anyway, we just have, I've... we just have to be careful. About, uh, he looks at Father David, like, rock hard packs. I mean, I mean, currents. <laughs> <clears throat> Just wraps a towel around, Raymond. Make it easy. God, you thirsty bitch. Okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I would like, I would like Raymond and Patty to roll an idea roll. Okay. Yeah, sure. See if you can get any idea of what's down there. Kaboop. Oh, that's a success. Well done. Nothing. I rolled a nine. Patty, who was the closest to those strange shapes and those bricks down there, can't really stop thinking about them. They seem so oddly familiar. And the more she thinks about them, the more she starts to realize that, well, shit, they kind of looked like the statues in the basement. Ah, for fuck's sake. Oh, no. Oh. Patty is, like, sitting in the chair, staring up at the sky as she's, like, mulling over the thoughts in her head. Trying to, like, search through the mental file cabinets of shit she's seen. Yep. Why does it seem familiar? <sighs> What's going on here? There's something in the brain pan. And then she like shoots up out of the chair, standing. The statues in the basement. The, 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 they they look like the thing at the bottom of the pond. They look like the statues in the basement. The lizard. Oh, that can't be good. Goodness Ooh. gracious, Patty, take it easy. I mean, you you just nearly drowned. I uh, yeah, a little bit. Uh, it's, it's <laughs> fine. It's fine. Really, I uh, normally it's think I have like twenty four meters. It's cool. It's Are fine. Are sure this isn't oxygen oxygen deprivation? 
As somebody uh, who Cornica um, says, I'm fine. I know you're not fine. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was a little bit of Father David Laura was ready for. Too much um, priest. Okay. Too much priest. <laughs> okay. Uh, or, ooh, I'm dizzy. I'm going to sit back down. Sit yeah, back down. Sit back down. Uh, Jonah, uh, Mr. Shafter. Yes? Waddles, waddles up the stairs. Kind of motions for them to come well, along. Yeah, yeah. Actually, uh. actually, let me let me roll something real quick. Lord, please pretend my penis out like from the lust for pain of these <laughs> fucking Jezebels. Wonderful. That's the quote of the day, by the way. Gotta get my... I didn't make Just it. Just gotta get it. the waddle on. No, that was for me. If I have the bends, I can't tell. Let's see for Patty. I can tell if Petty is fine or not. Uh, I, I'm just Petty's gonna... probably just dealing with oxygen deprivation. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna... Like, Wait a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna feel her joints and just ask any pain there. Anything feel odd, tingling? Uh, no. Any, any numbness? Just lightheaded. All right. <sighs> I'll probably find then... And then he checks him. Then Raymond checks himself and just goes, "I have no idea." <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! I failed. Oh. Why did I even take first aid? Useless. Dumb. <laughs> Stupid. <sighs> Stupid rolls. After a moment, Patty slowly gets back to her feet. Takes a deep inhale. Okay. Okay, I can move now. Um, yeah, the statues that we found in the basement. Uh, fairly certain that's what I saw down there. How did, how did they end up down there? I mean, how um, how deep is the basement? Do we actually know? Because we know it's not the real basement, right? Oh, well, we, we have no idea how deep the basement is now. Exactly. So maybe it's just on the same level and this part got flooded. It's possible. Hmm. I guess that could have happened. So we know that the pond is. Well, did the rubber ducky go under the water? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So we know that the pond is more than fifteen meters deep. Deep, deep, deep. More than fifteen meters deep. Oh, I reckon that it's uh, closer to ten meters. Um, that's still quite you, a lot. It is quite a lot. That's like a. a... But you, you only went down at most seven, seven and a half meters. Yeah, but that's still yeah. like most of a three-story building. That's. It is pretty deep. Yeah, it's pretty fucking deep. Um. So we know that the pond is a less than ten meters deep. Uh, could I roll an idea roll to get a better idea? Go right ahead. Success! Ooh, very well done. That's wonderful. Yeah, Patty would say that it's about. I don't know. <laughs> some it's somewhere between nine to eleven meters deep. It's not any deeper than that. Uh, max eleven meters, maybe nine. Let's just call it ten. Um. A lot of averages. Uh, I failed math. Anyways. Raymond, being American, has no idea how much a meter is, so let's roll with that. <laughs> uh, around 30 feet. That's not... It's about three feet, feet, but never mind. Look, I'm just failing my idea roll, so, you know, <laughs> whatever. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> whatever. Don't worry. It's fine. It's fine. What's an idea roll? I got no idea. Anyway. Don't worry about it. So we're going with yeah, the... Yeah, it's about... Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. So we're going with the uh, the GoPro thing? Yeah. Absolutely. Can, should, we, yeah. should we check to make sure those statues are still in the basement? Um, I... You know I think that's a good idea. Yeah, let's go back into the basement, half-naked. 
Actually, no. actually, let's let's, uh, let's hang on, everybody. As much as I would love to go uh, go down into the basement, let's get some coffee first. That's a good idea. Coffee, a bit of tea. It'll warm you right up, and you'll feel a little better fact, when you get in breakfast before we go on. While oh, yeah. we do that, Raymond will. Um, yeah, I suppose it is like the least we could do. Yeah. Raymond will explain how he wants to go along with the GoPro thing. So basically. We're doing a re like a really old school thing. We're getting some rope and like a wooden board or something. We put one end of the rope on one end of the pond, the other end on the other side. We put the the little um, wooden board on the rope. So it's like safe in the middle. And one of us goes on the board. Probably someone who doesn't weigh as much. Okay. And then that uh, one... Yeah, I got some... Yeah, and then that one lets the GoPro down and can like, you know, pull it up again once we're ready. That should be the least. Okay. Should be the least amount of work and effort. I don't know if you have any rope, but I got some climbing cord. Oh, I got rope. Okay. I do have rope. You know what? I'm not gonna ask why. Why do you have never rope? Mind. Never mind. Uh, I don't want to know actually. Why would you um, never know when you're going to need some rope? Why would oh, you come have on, rope? let's get some coffee. Have you never played D and D? Why wouldn't you have rope on you? I'm. <laughs> Look, it's 2022. You can buy like nylon climbing cable or something. You know things you'd use rope for. That's still rope. It's all the same thing. Yeah, but it's not like crazy weird hemp rope. Normally, people use that for like sex stuff. I never said hemp rope. First of all, <laughs> you have to prepare that stuff for like sex stuff. So you know. <laughs> oh. Good morning, um... Fist. Just coming in talking about rope. <laughs> you know, I think we've eaten in the kitchen more than we've actually eaten in the big fancy dining room. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a nice kitchen. Yeah. It's all cozy in here. Anyway, Andande is already, uh, is already here making coffee. The smell is fucking divine. Will Father David's heart break again when he sees him? <laughs> Just comes, David's still wet. Comes in the door, <laughs> sees, like weird... sees Andanda, there's an audible cracking noise. <laughs> just blast <laughs> splintering. And then they looks up. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, you go ahead. Uh, Patty just throws the towel over her usual spot where she sits on the counter and hops up. Nice. <laughs> Look at that. You can actually see the moment when his heart breaks in two. God damn. Like you could see the like the little like sh light shimmy in his eyes, as well as like get w a little wet again. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if you got to see the, the little little uh, roll twenty chat, but That's big funny. respect for Patty for not bringing up the gentle cry shivers. <laughs> <laughs> Dave was doing in bed. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Look, sometimes you just gotta get your cry on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's just what you have to do in this bitch of a world. Sometimes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, Raymond will. Rosita deserved better. Raymond will take the coffee that is hopefully already prepared. Absolutely, and it's prepared in just the way that he likes it too. Wonderful. He will just. And Andy does a double take as he sees Father David coming in. Looks at him a little bit up and down. Good morning, Father David. Buenos dias, Andante. <laughs> He walks over and he presses a mug of coffee into Father David's hand as well. Yeah, like... Went for a little bit of a morning swim, did you? Not really. Just wading in the water, it just splashed up because I was going too fast. Just playing, just playing with the rubber ducky a bit. <laughs> Gives Andante a very thankful look. <laughs> excited eyes. Oh. Uh, Raymond will uh, Raymond will approach Father David with a little flask of something and just uh, perhaps an Irish coffee today, Father. Oh. Just looks <laughs> looks at Jeff. Like, did you have to say it out loud? 
No, I'm just I'm saying, silently. It, I'm saying it quiet. In, I'm saying it quietly so only Father David can hear it and probably Doctor Celeste because she's eavesdropping. Yeah, just very quiet. Like looks down gently, <laughs> gently presses the, the fucking mug closer to Raymond. Uh, Jonah is also trying not to cry while watching this. Yeah. Uh, oh. Raymond just Raymond gives him uh, a very generous amount of alcohol. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Shafter. Oh, no worries. Takes a sip. <laughs> yes, maybe don't take too big a swig at once. <laughs> well burned by the quantity of strong liquor poured into his coffee. Just nods. Nods. <laughs> Dr. Celeste LeBlanc uh, sidles closer. Or maybe don't forget the cream. She goes over to uh, to the fridge and gets out some cream. Well, you know. And helps make the Irish coffee an actual Irish coffee. Well, you know what they say. Irish coffee, hold the coffee. <laughs> oh, you're treading on territory there. But I'm too tired to market this. Meanwhile, you already I'm done tired out of swimming. No, not from swimming. <laughs> I didn't swim. <laughs> I just floated. Just fucking just clothes suctioned onto him. I wasn't the hair perfectly dry though. Raymond's still <laughs> Raymond's still trying not to look down too far. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're being respectful. Oh yeah, it's just you know I don't I don't want to know. Just thought just that... take. It's a mystery that, that can stay unseen. It's fine. Patty definitely looks. Oh, yeah. I mean, she's a pervert, though. So. Well, uh, in, he's unfortunately handsome for a fucking priest and uh, unfortunately well hung <laughs> for a man of the cloth. <laughs> oh, right. We said this was <laughs> canon. <laughs> I forgot. So anyway, How could I have forgotten? This is something that has come up that you've had to decide. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, Father Tripod, uh, Father David. <laughs> I did it, you guys! He's <laughs> a devastatingly handsome priest. <laughs> I could make, make a really distasteful joke here, but I won't. I uh, just be a Protestant because a lot of denominations of Protestants don't have that weird thing about not letting their priests fuck. Exactly. That was actually oh, that was one of the better Simpsons jokes, where the two mm -hmm. priests go against each other. Why don't you go home and have sex with your wife? <laughs> Good insult. Yeah. <laughs> Hui. Oh my god. Anyway. Anyway. It doesn't take Are long you... before Andante has a pretty delicious smelling breakfast going. Bacon, eggs, beans today too. Beans. And some, and some sausage. <laughs> <laughs> and some sausage. Thank you <laughs> for elaborating. <laughs> And God damn it, this man is even making pancakes. You're making a hearty breakfast today, young Dante. Would you like some assistance? Well, you know what, Father David? I would love some assistance. Yeah. You know, if you... Perfect. If you put something on the pancakes and then you roll them into a thing, you can, like, squeeze out the liquid into your mouth. <clears throat> Not these kinds of pancakes. You're thinking European pancakes. He's making American pancakes. You can still roll Thick. them. Oh, the good buttermilk kind? Oh, yeah. Mm. Hell okay. yeah! <laughs> oh, God, I made myself some buttermilk biscuits yesterday. They are totally worth the trouble. <laughs> Perfect. And also cutting my thumb, but totally completely special. unrelated. <laughs> the, bl the blood just makes it extra special. I put my blood, sweat, and tears into these, and I'm not lying literally, about the blood. Literally. Gross. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, okay, so I, I guess we eat, and do we do the, the GoPro thing, like, today, or? Or do we wait? I mean, if we have the shit for it. Uh, we, 
I mean, we do, you know. You do indeed have the shit for it. <laughs> I mean, Raymond will just bring out, like, actually, how f how wide is the, the palm? Oh, she a wide bitch. Yeah, but like... Big. Big. Yeah, but how like, wide? I don't, I don't have an actual, like, number for how big and wide she be, but... <laughs> she is a decent fucking size. Mm. Like, you could swim... You could swim across that thing, and it would be a good fucking workout. So, like, swimming pool wide? Try more like two swimming pools. Alright, let's see. Swimming pool length. About 25 meters for a short one, 50 meters for a wide one. Let's say 40 meters in the middle. Mm, 45. So, so 80 for, So 90 for two. So 30 meters. Ah, uh, no, sorry. That's 90 meters. Sorry. 90 meters indeed. 90 meters. Uh, that's that's still doable. It's fine. Raymond brings out like a spool of paracord about 200 meters. Like he's just carrying that shit around in his swim trucks. Never, no, yes. he has that in his room. <laughs> Anyway, before yeah, the hemp robe is the everyday carry robe. <laughs> before that happens, though, whilst you're still in the kitchen, you suddenly hear. <laughs> what was that, Jonah? <gasps> oh, is that Segator? Open you the window. Me? Oh, it's okay. Oh, it's my baby. The big beefy baby jumps in. <laughs> And past Patty makes a beeline for the cat food. And starts, not he's not even pawing at it. He just straight up chomps into the bag. He's and starts not again. Doing, starts doing the thing where he's both where he's both growling, meowing, and chewing at the same time. All right, uh, takes the like he. It was in the cupboard. Wait a minute. How did he get it out of the cupboard? Point actually, in that case, he's just standing in front of the cupboard and doing the cat drum. It would be better opens if he just opens it up the cupboard. very carefully, pulling at the edge of it to try and open it. And you see, like, he keeps like the cupboard keeps opening up a little bit, but then like closing back. Yeah, exactly. Endless loop of frustration for Segator, uh, yeah. probably David. But, but we know that cats are liquid, so he could just go in through the gap. <laughs> He takes um takes the fucking cupboard door, opens it up, grabs out the bag of food, and then uh, uh, as he uh, as he lifts the bag of food, it is much heavier than it usually is. He looks down, Sigator is latched onto a corner of it. Oh, <laughs> baby, oh. you're so hungry. The All right, oh, well he's a big guy, so he has to eat a lot. He does. Oh. Takes a bag, like grabs the unbitten end of it, and just kind of like tilt, tilts the bag very carefully as he pours <laughs> food into the bowl. Yeah, <laughs> well, Sigator, let's go, and he rushes to the bowl before, even before Father David has put it down. He's like, he's he's standing on his little hind leggies. He's pawing at that shit. He is latching onto it with his front front paws. He's shovel biting into it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, just hungry, hungry hippos in that shit. <laughs> Trying to unhinge his jaw <laughs> to get maximum amount. Yep. He pours some. He pours a good amount of food in there. <laughs> Takes the bag, closes it up, puts it back in the cupboard. <laughs> Who is a big handsome boy? Yes, it's you. As he, uh, he starts with a big beefy purr. Yeah. Very carefully reaches out and just to stroke, stroke the Segator. <laughs> I'm just watching a he... video of the cat clinging to a bread thing. 
Exactly. Yeah, that, that, that's that adorable. It. Yep. Anyway, as Father David strokes Sigator, Sigator doesn't even move. He don't give no shits. He lets Father David stroke him. Father David gets a nice handful of that rough, coarse wildcat hair. Uh, Jonah will also pet the cat. He too gets a handful of rough and coarse wildcat hair. Pets. Three people are petting him now. Three people are yes. petting him now, and eventually <clears throat> one of them is going to find a good spot, and Sigator is going to lift his little uh, his little shoulders into that good spot, and the beefy purrs are going to intensify for a hot second. Oh, uh, you found a good spot. Patty's face lights up with like the most pure joy of petting Kitty. Pet the kitty. Pet pet the kitty. Kitty, pet and the kitty. As and Dante, saying, have you ever pet a Segator? I tend not. I tend not to touch a warrior without his saying so. He grins. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, Patty is currently in cat nirvana. Yeah. <laughs> and as you uh, as as you three are petting the cat, I'd like you to roll an idea roll. Ah. All right. Whoop! Fuck that up. Idea. Not the roll. Uh, roll. <laughs> okay, looks yeah. like Jonah is able to rub his two brain cells together. Yeah. Isn't this... All three of you succeed. Isn't this... Uh, yeah. Isn't this just a cat proximity thing and they go, you're a kitty. Uh, absolutely. But they get, they get, they get this idea that, well, shit. Something seems just a little familiar, like, did they see something earlier today that they didn't really realize? And all three of them at the same time get the idea to look at the Polaroid again. Okay, we're gonna look at the picture. Er. <coughs> oh shit, there's a cat! What? <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh yeah, there. Hey, cool. There's a cat in the picture that very much wasn't by the lake. Okay, then. Ooh. I think we managed to get a little sneak peek at the... Well, the, 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 the ghost cat. Yes. Maybe? I think. He, like, looks at the little shape of the noggin, then looks down at the, the shape of Segator's big old beef boy face. Yeah. It is not the beef boy face, you can tell. The ears are too short and the face is too round. <laughs> oh. You think that hmm. Sigator is the descendant of the ghost cat? It's possible. Wait, how would that work? Ah? Uh, uh, did you get it? Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it is. And uh, Hunter groans as he pushes a hand of beans and bacon into uh, a bowl of beans of bacon into <laughs> Just a handful of beans and bacon. <laughs> <laughs> <for Father Day. laughs> Okay, while you, <laughs> while you stuff the cat with beans and bacon, <laughs> when you say offspring, do you mean when the ghost cat was still alive? Yeah. Obviously. Wouldn't that oh, make... Oh yeah, no, ghosts can procreate. Wouldn't that mm -hmm. make Sagator really old, though? Older than he should be? I, mean, I don't know, it could be like... Great, great, great grandkid or something? I don't know how long ago this ghost yeah, cat lived. Yeah, that's what I meant. I mean, yeah. cats live like... I said descendant, uh, not child. I will look over to Patty. <laughs> I'm not yelling at you. <laughs> then I'm we'll look back. At... I'm not yelling at you either. I've never yelled at you, Jonah. I'm yelling at Raikman like I normally do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, acceptable. Just keep shoveling beans and bacon down this cat's throat. Why don't you? No, and Dante <laughs> hands Jonah a bowl of beans and bacon. As he, no. uh, as he goes, Father David, I am proud of you. Thank you. Little I'm working on it. One of those little candy shovels. <laughs> Shh, okay, only beans now. <sighs> anyway. 
Secretary is going to get them good pets. Good, so good pets. pets. Them good, good, good pets. pets. Pat, pat, pat. Anyway, with the idea of sending the GoPro out onto the lake, and with the knowledge of one, the fat lady and the shy lady not being the same ghost, and the ghost cat definitely not being sick at all, I feel like this is a good point to hold for today. What do you guys think? That's fair. We still don't know if Segator is not the ghost cat, though. You still do not know. Maybe there are two ghost cats. Maybe there are more than two ghost cats. The cat. Mm -hmm. Segator is a flesh and bone and anger. You don't know that. Oh, yeah. Flesh and I bone. I mean, Segator is made out of pure muscle. <laughs> Nothing else. Pure muscle <laughs> covered in hair. We are, we are over here just touching him. We can feel that he's here. He's here. Yep. Pure muscle covered in hair, bits of scar tissue, that's Segator. Yeah. That's Segator. Yeah. He's a big boy. Big, big boy. No actual bones or teeth, it's just more muscle. Yeah, pure yeah. muscle. Just muscle absolutely. formed into the shape of teeth. Yeah. The undulate slightly with his heartbeat. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Get away. <laughs> that's not a cat. Pure <laughs> muscle. Well, even his know. hair is actually, even his uh, fur are actually just muscle fibers. Well, now I know what I'm. Now I know a homebrew creature from my Pathfinder game. I don't like that. Muscle cat. Muscle Damn cat. It. Huh? We're giving him ideas. The Segator. <laughs> oh, but uh, another way for you to distinguish the cat in the Polaroid from Segator is Segator has, like, a good chunk of his one ear missing. Yeah. Wow. Don't judge. And the cat in the Polaroid. There he definitely has both ears. Yeah, but don't ear shame. I don't. I'm merely ear observing. <laughs> don't care. So anyway. We good for today? I, I think so, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Let's see what we, find, right. let's see what we find upon next time. Indeed. Also, I'm sorry, today is a little bit of a short session. I do have to get ready for tomorrow, where we... We've been playing for two hours, actually. It's not... <laughs> it's right. a good point. But anyway, I'm going off to the summer house tomorrow. Yeah. Gotta make sure that I'm well prepared. Ooh. Yeah. Be on three weeks, gonna miss ya. Yeah. I will miss you the guys summer too. House. The summer house. You own your family owns the summer house. Nope, we rent it. Oh, uh, okay. We just like one particular summer house a lot, so we rent that one uh, year after year. Yeah. Ah. Uh, uh, like, uh, like you should. Uh, anyway, should I stop? I was drink? about to say, like, damn, chicken. I know you were so one percent. Should I stop <laughs> the recording? Should I stop the recording now? Yes. Say goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. Dos for Danya.